What we do at LM Health is link hospitals in developing countries to a global network of doctors that we've built in the US, India, and elsewhere. In doing so, we're able to bring care to people that really have had limited access to high quality care. We at LM Health provide diagnostic health care to patients in developing countries through a combination of partnerships, logistics, technology. We've got access to high quality global providers with 24 seven service. And on the other side, we've got a network of local hospitals connected on an Uber-like grid to collect CT scans, x-rays, MRIs, pathology reports, and more. We're collecting data on all of our patients, all of the care they're getting, and making sure that we're using that data to improve the quality of the care they can receive. So for us, big data is going to create so many more opportunities in healthcare that haven't existed, but we're also able to do it in a way that brings it to developing countries. So we're very bullish about big data. We have over 500 patients currently using our platform. Uh, we have nine hospitals that are currently uh, linked to our platform, and we've got thousands of physicians that are working on our platform through our doctor network. What we're seeing is that we're not only having to provide uh, women's health physicians, but also technicians and people all, we're, we're really required to train people all the way down the, uh, the supply chain so that we can provide quality health. For us, it's a question of can we serve all of them? Uh, and if not immediately, how do we choose which problems we're solving immediately? So we're looking to grow both into new geographies, Sub-Saharan Africa, Southeast Asia, MENA, as we mentioned, but also looking at other services that we can provide, whether it's diabetes management, whether it's maternal and child health, you know, really looking at where those areas are that we need to be focusing. More and more businesses are really meticulous about how they're actually marketing, how they're actually designing products. And so over the last five years, I mean, I've been witness to this revolution where uh, if you don't have the data to back it up, you almost don't act, right? It, whereas 15 years ago, a lot of things were intuition-based. Now you just pull the data, you come up with an experiment, and that creates almost a different way to solve problems. And even with us, we do the same thing, right? We say, okay, we've designed this. Um, what's the data telling us? And you immediately look at the data in a way that you couldn't before. And that's, that's awesome validation.